Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech, my name is Amata, today is the 18th of May and this time I have some news for you regarding the whole Witcher 3 Gameworks controversy as Nvidia has actually responded to the backlash that has been happening. Now just to give you a little bit of backstory just in case you missed it, feel free to skip ahead a minute or two if you are fully aware of what's been going on with Nvidia Gameworks, but basically Gameworks is a Nvidia program in which game developers are offered NVIDIA optimised implementation for in-game effects. These can be shadow, lighting, hair simulation and in ambient occlusion. Now, when this programme first came out, game developers were prohibited from not only working with competing people such as, say, AMD and Intel to optimise the effects for their GPUs, but they were even denied access to the code itself. Now, thankfully, this was actually lifted. NVIDIA actually allowed developers to access the source code as of mid-April of last year. However, that does not alter the situation regarding whether or not people can work with other companies as developers engaged in the NVIDIA Gameworks program are still not allowed to work with AMD to optimise the code for their hardware. Now, this is in direct contrast to AMD who of course have their Gaming Evolved program which is very similar, where they of course have tress effects and whatnot. They don't stop people from working with other competitive GPU or anything manufacturers. In fact, AMD even actively worked to optimise their tress effect technology, which of course was first popularised thanks to in the Tomb Raider reboot, which of course saw it used to pretty amazing effects. They worked to actually get it working with, with NVIDIA hardware to the point where it actually performed equally well on both. Now, Tress Effects, of course, is similar to NVIDIA's Hairworks. However, unlike Hairworks, as I just said, it performs equally well on both AMD and NVIDIA GPUs. And the source code is publicly available and, has, as I said, has also been optimised for NVIDIA by AMD themselves. So, basically, to summarise, NVIDIA has this Gameworks thing. And while they've made the code open to developers, you cannot work with AMD if you're using Gameworks, whereas AMD have Gaming Evolved, where you not only have the code, but you can work with whoever you want. And they will actively even support other technologies, such as, say, Hairworks. Now, how does this apply to The Witcher 3, I might hear you ask? Well, a recent controversy was sparked just a couple of days ago when Marcin Momo, who is a spokesperson over at CD Projekt Red, said that Hairworks was going to be included in the game and, quote, cannot be optimised for AMD products. Now, in addition to the performance issues with Product Cars, which is another NVIDIA Gameworks title, PC gamers naturally were a little smidge upset and went out to actively criticise Gameworks and the developer partnership program in general. And there's a rather lengthy post on the r slash PC Master Race subreddit, which I will link in the description below this video, which has, at the time of recording, been upvoted up 4,628 times. And well, in response to this controversy, which obviously a lot of people are very much backing, this is what Brian Burke had to say, and he is NVIDIA's head of marketing for the Gameworks program specifically. And he said, quote, Gameworks improves the visual quality of games running on GeForce for our customers. It does not impair performance on competing hardware. Demanding source code access to all our cool technology is an attempt to deflect their performance issues. Giving away your IP, your source code is uncommon for anyone in the industry, including middleware providers and game developers. Most of the time we optimise games on binary builds, not source code. Now the thing that makes this especially odd is that in the Reddit post, if you care to read it, they point out that Gameworks libraries are not just harmful to people who use AMD GPUs, but also those with NVIDIA cards as well for certain users. Now you might be wondering, well, how is that possible? Well, it applies to, especially to, should I say, those with 700 series GPUs or older. And as a result, they have very poor performance on project cars. All non-Maxwell non GPUs have showed uncharacteristically poor performance. For example, the GTX Titan, which debuted at $1,000, was only 2 frames per second ahead of the $200 GTX 960. And even the 780 was behind that very same 900 series card. 
Now, just to give you a little bit of perspective, if you're not a particular tech head, the 770 is 14% faster than the 960, and the 780 is 36% ahead of the 960. So, yeah, basically more powerful cards were suffering problems thanks to Gameworks. So yeah, it's a pretty bad situation where basically one hardware company is beginning to implement code into games which are, of course, given that everyone has all sorts of different setups, are going to run on a variety of hardware from different vendors. And, you know, that's fine if, say for example, you could actually work with the company to optimise the technology for their GPUs, like AMD did with TressFX, for example. But NVIDIA won't do that. You're not actually allowed... They're not going to work with AMD to get hair works or game works working on AMG GPUs. And that actively puts NVIDIA cards ahead with games that actually use game works. And as I just said a minute ago, not only does it do that, if you have certain cards, certain older cards, you're actually being bent over a barrel as well. Even though you should have the specs to actually handle it, game works is kind of just screwing the performance and yes you can turn it off but you shouldn't have to if you have the power for it and to be honest it's pretty anti-competitive like if you want to have your own special effects and that that's fine that's perfectly cool amd also have that but unlike nvidia as i've said like three or four times now they actively work to get it optimized for nvidia gpus yes for a while it did work on AMD GPUs more efficiently, but they actively work to get Tress FX working on NVIDIA cards, and now it works equally well on either, unlike Hairworks, unlike Gameworks in general, which any game that implements it, which of course is the choice of the developer by the way, it's obviously not NVIDIA is not strong arming people or anything like that, but if you use Gameworks, for whatever reason, maybe it's not the hair effects or whatever, you know, fair enough, that basically means that if someone has the audacity to have an AMD card, they are going to get subpar performance just because NVIDIA are not allowing you to work with their rival company, that being AMD, which very much seems anti-competitive in my eyes. So the whole thing's a bit of a mess, to be completely honest with you, and, well, I'm glad that people are speaking out against it because, well, it's anti-consumer, to be honest, to basically laugh and say no sorry you're not allowed to have our technology optimized for your cards why because fuck you that's why that seems out how it comes across from nvidia code is often shared when it comes to this sort of thing for example say when nvidia or amd have new ways of coding shadows ambient occlusion other such ready rendering sorry techniques they can all be viewed, edited, and lifted by any and all game developers, and can be also implemented in that game engine or middleware applications. So that whole attitude of, hey, you don't share your source code, well, actually they do. Just not this source code, because this source code directly benefits them and screws over consumers because they had the audacity to not choose an NVIDIA card. And a lot of people are not choosing NVIDIA cards nowadays because, well, AMD have really upped their game. They're giving power for a lot less price and well when you don't have huge amounts of money but you still want good performance yeah so i'm just basically throwing my weight behind this i'm saying thumbs up to the guys on the reddit i personally agree with what they're saying i suggest you give the thread a read it's rather long but he explains it in great great detail that i don't want to go into here i mean i've also almost been rambling now for almost 10 minutes so I don't want to go too much more into this but I suggest you guys read it. I would love to hear your thoughts behind all this though and I'll see you next time.